Hello. So today is Tuesday, April 26th, and uh, started off a little badly. Um, got up, was getting my breakfast ready, turned on the sink to uh, rinse out a dish, and no water. And um, they've been doing a lot of construction, or construction, destruction. Anyway, they've been ripping up the street, repairing the street, ripping up the street, repairing the street on and off for like the last two weeks they just just go down the street and tear it up and dig around and then they seal it up again and they come back and keep doing that and uh, I think they broke a water main um, because shortly after I found out that I had no water and there were no notices up saying that they were going to turn down the water or turn off the water for maintenance they usually do that if there's maintenance they put a little notice up that says the water will be off from this time until that time on this day. Sorry for the inconvenience. There were no notices put up. But uh, shortly after I noticed that I didn't have any water, um, someone rang my doorbell and started apologizing a lot because there was no water. and It would be fixed in just a little while, just just a little bit more. It will be fixed really soon. But, uh, you know, more than 30 minutes later, it still hadn't been fixed by the time I left my apartment to go to work. But luckily, I'm... Uh, you know, night shower person, not a morning shower person, so it was okay. I just, um, I got a lot of bottled water, so I brushed my teeth with that and just, you know, washed my face and stuff with my, with my bottled water. And then I went to work, but when I got to Yokosuka Chuo Station, things picked up a little bit because I saw this guy, and I saw this guy, these two, um, camped out in front of the station, um, the organization, Japan Animal Therapy Association, um, sometimes has their dogs on display. I've seen them in um, other places before, Sakura Gicho Station, um, in front of the station as well. But, you know, I saw them. They had their donation box out, just threw some money in there because I think it's a good service. And um, they gave me their, their nice pamphlets after that. And this one is all in English. It explains what they do and how to volunteer. But basically... Um, they provide dogs for emotional therapy. So if you're depressed or if you're lonely or if you're a senior citizen who's living in a care home and don't have um, visits from family or friends very often, just that, that situation. If you just need a, an emotional pick-me-up, they provide um, dogs for that kind of animal therapy, emotional therapy. And, uh, you know, if you have a pet, and you want to use it for that, you know, they can show you how to train your pet and see if it matches the criteria to be an animal therapy dog and whatnot. So it's just it's a nice service. I think it's a very good service, especially in a in a in an area where people are just stacked so densely upon each other. It's surprising how lonely people can get. And um, you know, this might be one way to alleviate that. And uh, it was nice. And then I talked with some students and with my co-workers about it. There are cafes where they have dogs on hand to spend time with uh, clientele and cats. There are cat cafes, owl cafes, where they've got different owls that are on perches all around you. Um, lizard cafes, if you're into iguanas and whatnot. So there are a lot of interesting cafes around Japan, around Yokohama, Kanagawa area. But this one, you know, they definitely deserve my support and you know I'm more than happy to throw a little money at them um, to help them continue their work and uh, yeah those two dogs were so docile and calm and friendly I didn't pet them or anything just let them chill out in front of the station but so that you know picked my day up a bit so got over the lack of water thing once I got to work and now I'm home so now I've checked it. I've got water. I'm going to take my shower and have some dinner. But thank you for your time. And if you have a dog, please give it a little scratch from me. If you've got a cat, pet that thing too. Any other pet, whatever you do, do it on my behalf. Thank you for your time. Bye.